This year, a record number of visually impaired and blind runners raced in the Santa Barbara Half Marathon. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Santa Barbara, meeting some of the athletes and organizers who made it all possible. Dealing with going blind is scary. So running is a great outlet, a great way to deal with it, cope with it, and also connect with people. Dan Bros is a runner. He's also blind, slowly losing his vision since birth. And it just got really uh, isolating. And then Brianna came along, made blind fitness, and gave me direction. Three years ago, Brianna Piet began creating a support system for the visually impaired community of Santa Barbara. Blind fitness began to build because there were so many people that wanted to get outside and get fresh air and move their bodies. Blind Fitness has trained hundreds of guides to assist athletes in surfing, yoga, running, cycling, and more. To be in a position to help some of these other people that are still shut in and scared to death, help them overcome their fear. Try to overcome some of the stereotypes of what blind people can't do rather than what we can do. Last Sunday, Santa Barbara's Half Marathon had 50 visually impaired athletes, ranging from 12 to 78 years old. United in Stride founder Richard Hunter tells me his goal is to help people be more active and combat isolation. And also the relationship between the guide and the visually impaired fitness walker or jogger, they become their friends and then they're in a community and that's super powerful. And it's not just the athletes who benefit from running with a partner. We can all learn a tremendous amount from each other. Guide Brian Walters is paying it forward after a glycoma diagnosis, and he says he's learned a lot from his blind friends. Just because someone is visually impaired or blind doesn't mean they can't lead a very full and fulfilling life. In Santa Barbara, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.